Hi, and welcome back. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. If you are on my email list, you would have received an email talking about this summer's shorts, uh, YouTube short videos, one minute tips. Um, so there's a series of those. Definitely, I encourage you to subscribe. I likely might be putting up more than once uh, a week. So uh, you can definitely stay tuned and check out those tips for helping engaging learning experiences and facilitating online as well. But I thought I didn't want to leave you with just that. Um, you can also check out all of our previous blogs and quick tips videos and tutorials as well. And I welcome you to comment below what types of tutorials and videos you would like me to create uh, for the future in the fall as well. So we have the quick tips that you can um, take uh, participate in now. They're one minute videos, but I also want to leave you with a summer reading list. I've been seeing other people's blogs about that and I thought that's such a great idea. And people have commented um, on the books behind me that they've taken note of those too. So I thought I would pull them off the shelf and share some of them. Now, some of these are my were my textbooks from a Master of Adult Education. Uh, excellent books. All of these tabs were from each week's uh, reading. And when I have books full of highlighting um, and notes, that means there were a lot of great ideas. So this one even covers assumptions about adult learning. And this is also applicable to the workplace or community learning contexts and different uh, styles in learning different models. So this is the one I will just stop so you can can take a look at that. There's also the building the learning organization, which is really important if you're with a larger workplace and you want to facilitate a culture of learning that people are always, you know, um, open to learning, because really learning is ongoing. And it's not just in formal context. Um, so those bite-sized learning, just-in-time learning, um, you know, the coaching opportunities when something has gone wrong, what did we learn from it, and uh, different levels of learning too. So this is a, another great book that you can consider. Of course, this is very relevant for um, our context with bringing all of our learning online. Um, so beyond theory, really, a lot of our tutorials are about that practical application. How does it apply to you? And uh, so this is another book to, to consider. And, uh, and it's, you know, we, it, learning is ongoing, especially when we work, are working with technology, multimedia, but techniques as well um, of how do we really engage the variety of learners in our audience so we can turn them into participants. This is another good one um, as well. So this, you know, a lot of tabs and a lot of highlighting and underlying um, as well. So different considerations and again as i said before two levels of learning how do we really make an impact and make a difference part of making things in engaging includes different activities so i do like to have a collection of books that can give me ideas too um, i have my facilitator toolbox of things that i'm pulling and adapting uh, for the the particular context or audience. So this is one I've picked up over the years. And it doesn't just have to be emotional intelligence, but really getting people thinking and working well together. So team building exercises, I go through and I consider and adapt. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's just sparking ideas as well. This is another one. Uh, so a bunch of ideas for activities to have that hands on experiential learning experience where people are also interacting with each other in a social way, even online. So some ideas might be more in the in person context, but they can be adapted as well. This is another one I've picked up over the years 
um, to, to get ideas. And then I, you know, uh, footnote them and underline and, and, you know, it's really depends on the context. What is your purpose? What's the outcome that you're trying to uh, achieve? This is another great book. Um, oh, they even have, you know, and that's a great idea too. When I've got all these tabs here, if you put a tab and write down what is that activity, that makes it a lot easier too for finding um, as well later. And this is for the virtual training experience. And then I will put in here to the book that I've ordered. Now I've studied quite a bit of Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences that a lot of those principles I bring into the quiz that we have. So you can uh, figure out what inspires your learning as well as then we tend to facilitate in our own style. So it's great to learn about other ways people like to learn or receive information. So I have that book um, ordered because I realized I don't have a book about that on my shelf. I studied it quite a bit in uh, in school and um, I thought I wanted to have that. So that's on order for me. This is a book that I purchased as well. It was a course that I didn't have time to take when I was picking my courses, um, when I was taking my Master of Adult Education. I haven't read this yet, but I am very passionate about transformational learning, about creating that context um, to for behavior change. So it's something that I've done a lot uh, of over the last 20 plus years, 25 years, but this is not a book I've read yet. So this was this will be on my summer list. And this is a favorite book. I thought I would leave you with that. So definitely pick some, don't pick all, uh, see what fits you. But this is one of my favorite books. It was not a typical textbook at all. It was easy reading and really inspiring. Um, and it is about teaching and learning context, um, uh, learning across context. And uh, the one, you know, one of the professors as well um i really like so it was just such a great book got um and a lot of highlighting in here too great great quotes and um you know and so yeah it does get into some adult learning theory but the storytelling um aspect i really enjoyed that book too so I hope this helps your summer reading if you're looking for some ideas and books as a facilitator, as a, a workplace trainer, uh, you can check out some of those. I would love to hear if you liked them or what, what were your takeaways. And I hope that you enjoy all the videos that we have available for you. Until next time, thanks for, for listening, watching, reading uh, this, and uh, my name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. I hope you have some light bulb learning moments with some of these books with your reading or whatever you're doing for learning or taking a break from learning this summer. And until next time, I hope that you are also able to continue facilitate engaging experiences so your audience turns into participants. Thanks again.